Hi guys, hope you're well. Okay, today we're going to do something very challenging. We are going to learn, I'm going to teach you how to boil an egg. Yes, you heard it right, boil an egg. Now, a lot of people kind of get confused with this. I don't know why. Uh, a lot of people have conversations about how they do it best and there's some very strange methods of doing it. So I thought I would give you a rock solid, perfect way to boil an egg every single time, time in, time out. So let's just kind of talk through the variants and how to get it perfect. If you want to cook the perfect boiled egg every single time, you need the same size egg. So you'll get different size eggs in the supermarket. You'll get large, medium, sometimes small, and sometimes double yolkers. So this is for a large, free-range organic egg. So we have a pan of boiling water. To that pan, I'm going to add a tiny, tiny, tiny pinch of salt. Why would we do that? Because inside this egg is a tiny, tiny amount of salt. So one of the theories about not having your boiled egg crack and then leak everywhere is to put a tiny bit of salt to kind of balance the amount in here and then it doesn't try and osmose it through the shell, okay? Now, on that conversation, the shell is the most incredible natural protection from the egg. So um, you don't want to put it in the fridge, A, because I don't need to go in the fridge, and B, it's very porous. So this will suck up any smells uh, in the fridge, which is probably not a good thing. So that goes in with a slotted spoon, pop it in the water and just dip the egg in and out two or three times and then gently place it on the bottom of the pan. So from room temperature, they go into boiling water. I'm gonna put three eggs in and one for luck. That's for soft boiled, semi soft boiled and hard boiled. So for soft boiled, it's five and a half minutes on the head. So set your timer and get ready to go. For semi soft boiled, it's seven and a half minutes, and for hard boiled, it's like 11 to 12 minutes. So, as simple as boiling an egg is, there's lots of different people's techniques, some logical, some completely illogical. I've heard people swear by methods of putting eggs into a pan of cold water, bring it to the boil, and then turn it off as soon as it comes to the boil and they're ready. It depends on the size of the pan, it depends on the power of the gas or the heat source. You know, it's really random. So doing this, like boiling water is not random, okay? Having an egg roughly at room temperature, give or take, is not random. So we put it in there, soft boiled, five and a half minutes. Semi soft boiled, seven and a half minutes. Hard boiled, 11 to 12 minutes. Perfect. Okay, lovely people, so the first egg is done. This is our five and a half minute egg. Uh, what I tend to do is make sure you put it up the right way. Yes, this is very hot, by the way. There is a round side and a sharper side. So I always go the sort of blunter side up. So that is our five and a half minute egg. If you leave that in the shell and just watch it, it will carry on cooking. That shell is like a mini oven, right? So you want to kind of get on with it and eat it. So I'm just going to crack off the top. And there you go. A really nice soft boiled egg, cooked to perfection, absolutely lovely. So the second egg has had seven and a half minutes. This will give you a medium soft boiled egg. So if we have a little look in there, there you go. Half firm, half soft, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so this one has had 11 minutes and that should be our reliable hard boiled egg. Perfect for sandwiches, salads, stuff like that. The best way to test is with a soldier as we call it, a little bit of toast, lovely. So there you go guys, a little pinch of salt on top and that is a beautiful, simple, humble boiled egg, cooked to perfection every single time, absolutely beautiful.